Henry, I'm glad you came. Hey, Henry's come to see us. God be with you, Henry. God be with you, Henry. Hey, who's there? Are you, Henry? Are you serious? This wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? My God, where did you find it? In Scalitz. Are you saying that old man of mine is actually good for something? And do you have it all? Uh, let me see, let me see. I found your silver goblet. Just the goblet? There were Groshen in there. The Groshen as well. Here you go. God grant you God health. You, How may I help you? So, how are you doing? Oh, it's awful. The work is hard and the folk won't talk to me at all. They look down their noses at me. I wouldn't worry about it. As soon as the mines are working again, everyone will forget about all this. I'm glad you came. Good health to you, Henry. I think I have three of us. I've lost everything. My home, my family, my livelihood. Who's crochet here on? Hey, Henry's come to see us. God save you. What can I do for you? Can you show me how to repair armor and weapons better? Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot?
What about this? Well, a little more, and we'll call it a deal. Sorry, but I'm not going to teach you for that price. Can you show me how to repair armor and weapons better? Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? Are we agreed? You're a right pinch purse. Agreed. Now listen up. I'm glad you came. I'd like to discuss the price. Naturally. How are you, Henry? Is this enough? A nice sum. Just lower your demands a little and we'll agree. Finally, a reasonable sum.
I'm glad to see you. Greetings, Henry. Hey, Henry, come to see us. May the Lord watch over you, Henry. God save you. sent me. I hope I can remember everything I'll she wants. I'll be with you, Henry. That's it, then. Come again any time. Good day to you. So, are you happy with your new cook, Merchant Hagen? Happy? Good day, it's Henry. a fucking nightmare. Well, what's the matter? I chose her according to my best knowledge and conscience. Can we do something about the price? Aye. Hey, Henry's come to see us. Since it's you. We are getting there. Just drop the price a bit more. Are we agreed? Close. Drop the price a bit more and we'll shake on it. I knew we'd come to an arrangement.
Can we do something about the price? Well, we can try it. Henry, I'm glad you came. Are we agreed? Close. Drop the price a bit more and we'll shake on it. God save you, Henry. All right, that would do it. I don't know who you're trying to do. Can we do something about the price? Hmm. All right, so. Since it's you, I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Henry, I'm glad you came. All right, that would do it.
ö, csak úgy próbáltam egyet. De nem sikerült. Furra el is veszett a cucc, vagy minden elveszett. Unknown potion. <gül> Jó. God be with you, Henry. God be with you, Henry. God be with you. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Could be. Go see Armin, the executioner. As long as you got the stomach for dealing with a fellow that's cursed. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Henry, I'm glad you did. Mm. I don't know. My humble greetings. How may I serve you? You up for a throw or two? This'll be the one. Hmm. Hmm. Stop by.
That's all. Your turn. God be with you, Henry. It was my pleasure. How are you, Henry? Henry, I'm glad you came. May the Lord watch over you, Henry. God be with you, Henry. God save you. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Certainly. Hmm. I'll fetch it right away. I don't know. What's going on? The folk in town are talking May about the you. Lord they shat on me. That's what. What? Who did? All of them. God save Henry. Wait. Tell me again from the start. <sighs> All right. If you want. They caught Peter of Dauba, George Weiss, and a fellow named Harold that everyone calls Frost. They're scum who've been hunted for months. Now they've finally been caught, there's a big execution being prepared. Don't Folk will come from miles around to watch. Well, that's a good thing for you, isn't it? It would be, if I was fucking yeah, doing it. Just as you ordered. Isn't it the custom for you to do all the executions in Ratai? It is. Not just the custom, but by bloody right. You're not being replaced, they said. This is just a loan of Gallows Hill. Well, there must be some reason for it. If you know of one, spit Welcome, it out. Henry. So who's doing the job? They invited My Executioner pleasure. Heinz all the way from Kutenberg. They say it's going to be a big show. Have I ever fucked up an execution? I always behead them in one blow. And when his lordship wants to drag out a hanging, I leave them kicking for minutes. 
If he wants it quick, they're stiff Henry, as soon as I drop I'm them. Glad you and they push me aside like that, after all these years of service. What can we do about it? it? Nothing. His lordship's decided, and that's that. Nothing? You think they should be allowed yeah, to get away Lord with this? Well, me. no, but... You have the right to executions in Ratai, don't you? I most certainly do. Then you're in the right. Don't tell me you can't think what to do about it. Hmm. The trouble is, they already paid the executioner, and he's come here along with his assistants. We can't stop the execution. Unless Hines drops dead on the spot. Maybe that could be arranged? How? I'm an honorable man. What the hell are you suggesting? I suppose not then. Well, I never. The best thing would be if he God fucked up the executions. Henry. The famous Cuttenberg executioner can't handle the job. The mob would laugh him out of town and beg me to take over. They'd never invite him here again. Great. So how do we go about it? Hmm. The problem is, I don't know what the sentences will be. They'll only announce them just before the executions, and then it'll be too late to do anything. Good health to you. Can't we just get him blind drunk? That wouldn't work. He's no beginner. And even if we did get him drunk, they'd just postpone the executions till he's Henry, sobered up. I'm glad you stopped by. Suppose I liberate the convicts. Why the hell would you do that? Well, it would be an embarrassment, and then... Only for Ratai, you dolt. Not for the executioner. Would the bailiff know more? Maybe. But most likely only Heinz will know the sentence. I've got an idea, though. Will you help me? Of course. Great. Thank you, Henry. So where should I start? Find out from the bailiff what their crimes are, and then have a look in the Black Chronicle at the Rat House. It goes back before my time. You're bound to find records of some similar offenders in it. You need to find people who committed the same crimes and came from the same sort of background, noble or lowborn. That way you can find out what the appropriate punishments are. Then come back to me, and we'll work out what to do. I'll get moving. And Henry? Hmm? They want to do the executions on my gibbet at Gallows Hill. I can hold them up for a while, but probably no more than a week. I'll bear that in mind. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Everywhere they go, they pillage, rape, and slaughter. Or so the tales have it. Of course, all armies do that, but them barbarians take pleasure in it. Let's talk about the price. Hmm, all right, so. Since it's you. I'd almost shake on that, almost. Aye, that would do it. over you, Henry. God be with you, Henry. Good day, Henry.
My humble greeting. How may I serve you? God be with you, Henry. My lord, I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Perbislavitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? My men have reported two more attacks today. <coughs> ah, Henry, I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord. Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Pervislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off. And they even took one captive. He's wounded, but we can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groschen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. That is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Uh, fac what? I don't give a fac what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. Uh, that's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. You saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um, this here is just a pile of copper. Kurra! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some worth. Mm. Kurva! Fuck! Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work especially to make such plausible forgeries. 
They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groschens seem freshly minted, so... So we are facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Doppler-devil. Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. If they haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said that we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhayed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. Greetings, Henry. God save you, Henry. Henry, I'm glad you came. May the the Lord watch over you, Henry. Hey, Henry, come to see us.
Good day to you. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? I should say so. The bishop's vicar came to Ujits, and not even Sir Hanush knows what he's after in these parts. Something must be up, but I couldn't tell you more than that. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. I hear there's going to be a big execution here. There certainly is. It'll be a glorious event for our town. They'll be talking about it for years. Who's for the chop? The biggest outlaws and reprobates for miles around. Peter of Dauba, George Weiss, and Frost Herald. What did they do? What didn't they do, more like? They caused trouble all over the country. Who's this Peter of Dauba? A noble who lost his fortune. He's been holding up merchants for months. That's all? At first. But then his gang started getting bloodthirsty. They wiped out a whole squad that was hunting them. He won't walk away from this. What can you tell me about Herald? They call him Frost because he's always cool as ice. Until he starts. I've seen plenty of killers and thugs in my day, but that one's got the devil in him. Why? They say the only thing that'll put a smile on his face is the sound of screaming and weeping. That beast kills for pleasure. When they caught him, he had a... a candle made from the arm of an infant. For luck, he said. Christ! What about Weiss? No one actually knows where he came from, but they say the murdering started with him. He never leaves witnesses. He'd rather wipe out a whole village than take a chance. Thanks, Bailiff. That's all I need to know. God be with you, Henry. Have pity on me, a poor wretch. Sigismund and his murderers took everything I had. May the Lord watch over you, Henry. Henry! Just the man I want to see. I need help with something. What's the problem, sir? Here you are. The Archbishop's I vicar has come to Ujitz. I don't know why exactly, but the rumor is that he's on the hunt for heretics. Which, frankly, never meant any good. Especially for me. I'm sorry, but I'm not really up on religious ranks, sir. What is it? What does a vicar do, exactly? You don't have to apologize. It's the devil's own work to make sense of their twisted hierarchy. The vicar is short for vicarious, meaning in place of. He has full power to act on his superior's behalf. I see. In this case, sadly, the superior in question is that nincompoop, Archbishop Zbigniew Hare of Hassenburg. What should I do about him, then? Firstly, find out why he's really here. He might truly be on the hunt for heretics, which wouldn't be good news. Or it's equally possible he's here to size up my estate, which would be even worse. I understand. And then what? The best thing for me and all concerned would be for him to pack his bags and go back to Prague. And how can I, um, encourage him to do that? I can't just kick him out, can I? No, of course not. If 
But if you can make him believe there's nothing to find here, he'll be off in no time. So tell him I've sent you to assist him. I understand. And my task is to assist him in finding nothing. Indeed. And what if there really are heretics? My boy, my boy. Have you ever seen a heretic? No. There, you see. I haven't either. Most of the time the prelates just invent them to scare folk with. So don't put much faith in their existence. But... But what if there really are some? Then deal with them. But make sure that interfering bastard gets out of here. Are you at odds with the Archbishop in some way, sir? No, I've never even seen him. But that's no guarantee he doesn't have his eye on my estate. But how could he get his hands on it? He's an Archbishop. They have long fingers, my boy. And now, without the King around, it's the perfect time to amass a nice little hoard. Believe me, I know. They say in Prague that he's a complete dolt. But I rather doubt that. Why? All the Hare clan are as shrewd as they come. I know that better than most. Uh-huh. Very well. I'll get going straight away. Good luck, lad. And be careful. Clergymen are wily weasels. So take care. I'll be careful. Don't worry, Sir Hannes.